So this is Multiterm 2011, the main interface. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to create a simple term base, just to get started. So when you fired up Multiterm, you click on Term Base, Create Term Base. I'll let it go in this location here. So it's going to be called New Term Base. I'll just leave that for the time being. Go on Next. So this opens up the wizard. Then click on Next again, and I can see what kind of term base I want. And to keep it simple, I'm just going to create a simple bilingual glossary. I click on Next. Then I give it a friendly name. The friendly name is just a name that appears in the list when you go to open your term base, which you'll see in a minute. So if we call this um, our friendly, oops, if I could spell it right, our friendly term base. Click on Next. Languages. Let's say for the sake of argument, I just wanted these two, English and German. They picked up there already. I could pick any language I want. I could pick specific sub-languages if I want. So there I get the different flavors of Arabic, for example, compared to here where I get just Arabic. I'll just go with the English and German. Click on Next, Next, Next. In fact, this makes it really simple. Just Next, 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 Next. That's it. I now have a friendly term base. If I clicked on Browse, if there were any terms there, the terms would be in it. And if I go to my um, folder now, you can see I now have the new term base. And that's it. That is a term base, ready to go, ready for me to start using the studio. What I'm going to show you next, I'm not going to look at how to add the terms yet. I'll do that in a, a further video, video further on down this article. If I close that term base, and I'm going to show you instead another way to create your glossary using the glossary converter that you can download from the Open Exchange. So if all you really want is a simple glossary like this, so for example I have here very simple little my glossary, at the moment I've only got three t three terms in there, English down one column, Welsh down the next. All I'm going to do is right click on it and say send to glossary converter. That fires up the glossary converter and that's it. Creates my term base. And if I double click that now opens up multi-term and there it is. I click on the browse, there's my tips. And that's even quicker than using the simple um, and I even have cinnamons in there, look at that. And this is even quicker than using the um, the creator bilingual glossary through the wizard. It's so simple, it's incredible. All you need to do is just add the columns at the the, the row at the top with the languages and then a the couple of terms and create your glossary and you're ready to go. So that's two ways to create a term base both cases it was really simple and really easy and nothing to get concerned about. The final thing I'm going to do is show you how to upgrade if you've already got a 2007 term base. So I've got a few here but I've got this one here which is what I'm going to look at. All you really have to do is open it. So you just say term base, open term base, browse, there's my two base you get a message that says it's been created with an older version of multi-term, this is correct. So I say continue opening the term bases. There it's done it. I click on OK. And there it is. That's my term base. And there's all my different hits that are in there. Cool. That's been upgraded from 2007 so it wasn't complicated. Now there's one thing that you need to know with this which I'm just going to tell you. Because if I go back to the folder, what you can see in here is that it's still called MDB. So although it's a 2011 term base now and all the indexes relate to that, you wouldn't know it from looking at it. And if I double click this, because I don't have Multiterm 2007 installed anymore, it will open up in Microsoft Access, which I don't really want because I want to be using Multiterm. There you go, Microsoft Access. So instead, all I have to do is rename, this is just a little tip, the end to STLTB. I say yes, change it. And you can see now it puts that recognizer on there. And if I double click it now, it actually opens up in the correct application. It, if I use the multi term term base open, it would open up perfectly well and it would be perfectly okay. And I could also use it in Studio like that. But it's easier sometimes if it has the correct extension and looks correct in Windows Explorer. So there's just a little tip to you at the end. That's it.